Bethel Men's Basketball Media Day 2019-2020. Steve Draben, the new men's basketball coach here at the Pilots. We're inside uh, the Gates Gymnasium, They're just outside here in the Hall of Fame area. Uh, Steve, you and I have uh, been friends for a long time, and I know this is an exciting opportunity. A lot of people don't understand some of the dynamics. Be, uh, you were offered a Division I college scholarship to play at, at Belmont, and but one of the things was that you were considering coming to play here at, at, at Bethel College at the time for Coach Mike Lightfoot. I did. Uh, before I answer that question, which is a great question, I just have to address Grant Galen has not beat me in a free throw contest, Travion Cruz, just so we have that clear. Um, be, you know, would love to have that contest happen at some point, but glad to be here. Bethel's a great place. I uh, you know, was fortunate to grow up just down the road, 45 minutes away in LaPorte, and uh, my father bringing me to practice here when I was in middle school, high school, and um, watching the pilots play. They played a fast style, um, very well coached, and learned a lot just on the sidelines at practice and coming to games. All right, so now you're here on campus. Uh, obviously, uh, when you look at the, the reason to be here, it has to be more than just basketball because, let's face it, you're, you're totally engrossed in the community when you're the head coach. Mm -hmm. uh, you had to hire the right people to get around you to, to make sure that you're going to be successful. And then you go into the aspect of you got to change the mindset and the culture of the student athletes that you have here on, on things. So uh, give us your thoughts on the big picture. Yeah, we hit the ground run, uh, you know, when we got the job late April. And uh, first thing I did was just, you know, work really hard at hiring a staff, guys that fit Bethel, fit me, um, help fill the gaps, you know, the weaknesses that I have. Um, you know, the biggest thing is just connecting with former players. They, Bethel men's basketball tradition, they've got so many great former players, a lot of high school head coaches in the state. Um, so just trying to connect with those guys, the supporters of the program, the Bill Gates, um, those kind of people. Um, just to try to get everybody, make make sure they're all feel, feel welcome and at practices and at games, and um, and then obviously just building the culture with the team, getting to know the guys. You know, first thing I did was call our you know current guys, um, just kind of get to know them, start that relationship, and um, connecting with them as as much as we can. All right, let's uh, speak to the fact that that you're only going to be as good as your coaching staff. So let's just talk a little bit about them individually. A sentence here, a sentence there. Mark Paulsgrove, who's going to be your number one assistant. You've known him since he was a little guy. Alex Daniel, who's of course here, and then you've got Will Abbott, who has great potential as a as a coach somewhere down the line. Uh, I'm excited about to see how much he's grown, uh, and I'm expecting exponentially great things from him in the future. For sure, um, Mark Paulsgrove, solid, organized. Um, you know, very driven, smart, good rapport with the players. Alex Daniels, been here for six years. Uh, in year seven, knows NAI very well, uh, knows our guys, has a good rapport with them. Um, just knowledgeable about the game. He's, you know, he's a guy that's coached for a number of years, has good experience, um, played the game at a high level. Um, so he's been great to have around, just kind of helping me out with the ins and outs of Bethel and NAI. Um, and then Coach Will Abbott over there, just, um, he, you know, he's a good tech guy, good video guy, which I need help with a lot. Um, so I don't have to run down to IT every day. Um, but just he, do, he does a lot of work, you know, behind the scenes that even I don't know about, um, just from film to, you know, stuff with our players. And, you know, he was doing something this morning with, uh, um, you know, a road trip that I, didn't, I forgot to mention to him. So he, he's proactive. He gets things done without me having to ask him to. So it's, our staff's been great. All right, let's, let, you got to talk about this league. This league is hung a lot of red banners and a lot of different gyms across the, the Midwest. And obviously when you're in this league, you better bring your A game or it's going to be, uh, you're going to be staying at home. So just uh, sharing some thoughts on the league. And obviously for you, it's even a more interesting dynamic because one of your high school teammates is also in this league and Greg Tonegal at Indiana Wesleyan, who's uh, created one of the greatest environments in college basketball at, at the, the school in Marion, Indiana. Yeah, so Greg, for me, uh, growing up, being two years behind him, you know, helped me develop a lot as a player. And, um, obviously, as a person, and he's to this day now, you know, as a coach now, has helped develop me as a coach. Uh, we've a lot of phone calls, and um, you know, they got a podcast they have going on that um, you know pick up ideas just on how to how to coach our guys better, how to how to disciple, um, you know, help build men of character and faith. And I tell people a lot that you know he's developed a very successful program. And on top of that, they've won some games. You know, so for them, their most important thing is to impact their young men um, in a godly way, in a faith-driven way, and um, just help them grow in their character. And, um, but hey, you know, one of the things that drew me to Bethel was just the conference, Crossroads League. I mean, it's, 
it's the best NAI Division II conference in the country, and you want to play the best. Um, one of my um, one of the things that is important to me, and it's one of our core values, is just growth mindset. Just trying to get better every day. Um, and this league is going to help us do that. Um, you know, to to be the best we can be, um, you know, we have to be be that way to um, compete in this league. So excited about it. You had a handful of guys who had got significant minutes. And then you're going to bring in a whole new group. It's almost like bringing in two new teams. Uh, so there's going to be some chemistry issues in the early stages of the season. I think that most people would certainly understand that dynamic. But the kids that were on, cam on campus, and we can start with uh, one of the best players in the country, and Trey Cruz. You've got him. Jared's had a uh, is getting better, and better all the time. So you look up and down the line of the guys on this team. Um, certainly, their potential is there, and then you bring in your new mix. Uh, which I know you're really excited about. So can you just talk about personnel issues the best you can here yeah. in the early stages? Yeah, you know, it starts with, uh, like you said, Trevion Cruz, just a guy that does a little bit of everything. Um, one of the things that impresses me most about him and Jared Dehart is they're just unselfish guys. Um, they're not afraid to pass up good shots, you know, for better shots for their teammates. Um, they just make guy, you know, their teammates better um, just with ball movement and making the right play. So just trying to put those guys in positions to be successful for our team. Um, we talked the other night, we had a scrimmage the other, the other night, and um, just about actions. We probably had one or two good actions five or six times. You know, it's not a high percentage. Mm -hmm. I think tomorrow in our next scrimmage, we're going to have three or four actions um, and 10 to 12 possessions. So we're just, like Dehart mentioned, Jared Dehart, um, it's a process. You know, it's a learning curve for not only our players but myself, just how to get the most out of them in practice and in games and putting them in situations where they can be successful. And, um, you know, Grant Galan, his shooting ability, Gavin Rasser, shooting ability, experience. Um, we've got some young guys, Max Newman, uh, Nate Ertz, that are solid players that are going to continue to get better. Um, Nick Pluta, um, as a five man, I think has got potential to be a really good piece in our, in our repertoire. And who am I missing here? Keontae Jenkins, a guy you know that could uh, come in, just bring some energy and some much needed minutes, and then down the line, plenty of players that can come and bring value, you know whether they're playing or whether they're, you know, guys that uh, you know come in and make significant contributions. When you move down a chair, everything changes. When you're the top assistant coach and now you're the head coach, what's been the most eye-opening experience for you moving down a chair? Sure, you know, for me, just decisions. You know, I, talking with our. Uh, you know, the coach that I worked with at Lipscomb, you know, for six years too at Stetson, um, you know, one of the things he mentioned to me was just anything that I do or that we do as a staff at Lipscomb, think about how you would do it, you know. And so that was a huge um, kind of preparation for me, um, just decisions. You know, here there's just, you know, decisions about how to, practice, how to plan a practice, decisions about what kind of recruits we want to bring in here to, to Bethel, um, decisions on how we do travel, on how we do film. How, how, how much is too much, how much is too little. You know, there's just so many things to think about. The weight program, nutrition, academics. Um, so just making decisions and what's best for our team. So. Final question. The pilots are going to have a great year because these components will fall into place. A consistent, positive approach. Talk with our players yesterday about that. We, in practice, we've had 24 practices. And... I don't know the number, but we've had mostly good ones, um, but we've had too many ones that we haven't brought the energy or the enthusiasm or the just a consistent uh, mentality to get better. Um, we're going to have a good season if we bring that, if we do that a whole lot more than we don't. Um, I think that's a huge message for our team. Steve Draven, men's basketball coach here. That concludes our 2019-2020 men's media.